I got round 100 on every single Cold War map to prove a point. Now, I'm not much of a high rounder. I have actually slightly become one after this. But one thing that I really wanted to prove to you guys and to show you guys, some of you that didn't believe me, is that the M79 grenade launcher is basically a wonder weapon now it is probably one of the best weapons in the game so that's what we'll be doing in today's video i'll show you me going from round 55 to round 100 well obviously not in between i'll just be skipping between them from d machine to firebase d marauder totem and lastly forsaken or even forsaken will be first i'll show you my experience so you guys can see that this bad boy is pretty good obviously the m79 needs a little bit of different things to make it good so it needs like you know your semtexes lt casimirs or ring of fire but really the m79 is the star of the show with all these strategies i'll be using the normal ones for high rounding yeah yeah all of the normal ones for high rounding on every single map hopefully you guys enjoyed this video this one took me like four days to record fully five even including today so if if you could please be sure to drop a like on the video please be sure to subscribe thank you all so much for nearly at 30k or even if we are at 30k i'm recording this before but i have for you guys hopefully you enjoy the rest of the video i'll see you in the next one okay so real quick before we fully get into the actual like gameplay of me playing alive this is a quick game that i did well a quick game what am i on about round 125 of forsaken i went up to 131 but i never saved the gameplay i did this live on stream so uh this is like the most popular strategy to use with the M79, sitting inside kitchen on Forsaken and just using the M79. This is where, you know, it was found out that this bad boy is the best. So instead of me going for 100 again and doing all that stuff, I just decided to slap on this gameplay so you can see and uh, stuff like that. Also, this took me very long to record. So do bear in mind, some of the clips that you will be seeing is me nonstop being in different lighting, sometimes wearing different shirts, uh, just face cam in different positions and stuff like that. That's because this was recorded over like four days and obviously I just didn't have the same setup and lighting all the time because, you know, daytime and nighttime, whatever. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, probably no outro for this video, so if it cuts off randomly, it does. Thank you so much for watching again. Thank you so much for 30k as well. And without further ado, let's get right into the Dimishina gameplay. Okay, here we are on round 56. Uh, the thing is with this, I round 55 was a dog round. But here we are, max health cap, max sprinters, I'm pretty sure. And here we are with the M79. Obviously, we will go up to round 100. But first, I want to show you off how it is on this round. Uh, and what I like to do is just kind of sit in this corner with the M79 on top of the penthouse strategy, which is obviously the fastest one on the Machina and the best high round strategy that is utilized with a ray gun, but I don't even have the ray gun. And I got up here pretty fast. It's basically the exact same strategy, but obviously you don't like spawn kill the zombies as much. You can do that, but I prefer getting the ammo. And this is literally all you do is just wait until they get up. Just keep spamming it. Yeah, I'm out of it now. I'm going to throw down a Semtex. A lot of things make this weapon good, but like, it's just very little things. The, this weapon is literally the star of the show. I'm gonna pick up this nuke to maybe get the rounds to go faster. And this is all you have to do. Then, okay, I'm stuck. Then you just go up, pick up the ammo, and you go back. And, oh, <laughs> that's round. <laughs> it's such an easy strategy. This weapon literally just made everything so much better, and I love it. And we're gonna go to every single map, as I said. Next is going to be Fire by Z and the Marauder Totem, and it's just, it makes everything so much easier. So, uh, I think I'm just gonna sit here, keep on doing what I'm doing, get up to round 100, see again on round 100 to prove that this is one of the best strategies for round 100, and rinse and repeat on other maps. This is so, just, ah, and we actually have a Megadon, I'll show you what I do with the Megadon, where is he? I heard him spot, there he is. Yeah, and, and we're just gonna we're gonna we're gonna shoot some megatons and since this game has this weapon which is the die i'm going to be using it to take out the megaton easier let's throw down a semtex just to deal with those zombies and okay maybe the zombies are kind of getting in the way obviously well oh, don't want to go down the mouth just throw down a semtex get my real fire and you can just use the actual m79 but if you use the die it takes him out as fast as well and go back to my vibing strategy it's it's just so easy there we go round 100 uh i have been here for a while i had to take some breaks and things like that but mm, i don't know max like 40 minutes to an hour probably even longer i'm not sure but it wasn't it, if i sat here for a very long time to do this round 100 it wouldn't take me that long 
but I don't have any ray gun, nothing, no third weapon ever taken. The only thing that I used was the M79 with a combination of the actual DIE and occasionally Semtexes here and there, but this strategy works perfectly with the m79 obviously as i said i just sat in this corner just beside the wonder fizz shot my uh, m79 over here uh, whenever i need to get my ring of fire threw down a semtex which refilled it and that's literally it so d machina you can definitely get up to a very high round with the m79 you don't even need the ray gun which is crazy uh, but obviously if you want to still have the ray gun as a backup to take down megatons or stuff like that faster it, It's pretty good as well, and but I, I prefer using the pack punch DIE, but uh, that's that's it basically so uh, I guess maybe to quickly just show again. I just do this need my ring of fire Oh, well, that's a messed up semtex throw my semtex over there got my ring of fire And that's all I do I just sit back sit back and enjoy you know, one-handed, if you're playing on PC, you know, you can probably just use your mouse. Not much involved. See max ammo over here, a little ammo thing. Pick it up with your mule kick and just go back at it. So the next one we're going to go on to is Firebase round 55 and then round 100 and then Mauer der Toten. So I'll see you there. Uh, what are you good? <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we're on round 54 uh, This isn't the strategy that I've been doing. It's just I let Orda just the round before take over this area because I just didn't want to fight him and <laughs> Orda is just uh, Stuck Orda is just vibing. Can I walk up to him? Oh my god, I can that is interesting. Does can I damage? Okay, uh, I guess we can let Orda vibe. Let's go to our strategy. So this is round 54, not round 55, as we were going to go up on those rounds. But this is basically what I do. I sit in the weapon lab room, which is the fastest strategy, while on Firebase Z to get round 100. And uh, I just shoot the M79. I don't even have a secondary. Uh, I don't need a Ray K. I'm just going to be letting Orda take over the area whenever I don't feel like fighting him. And uh, I know these aren't full-on super sprinters, but it's close enough. We won't have to show round 55 anymore because of what just happened there. I do also utilize Semtexes and LTs, and I have a war machine just in case if I down. Uh, okay, speaking of downing, am I down here? Nah, I don't think I will. I won't let that happen. Are we at the end of the round? Okay, round 55. Funny enough. Uh, so... Also, I do really recommend if you're going to be doing this strategy with M79, have Brain Rot. Because the most annoying thing on this map is the Mimic. They just spawn in ridiculous raids. They just never stop. And uh, what I'm going to go do now is just uh, try to... I wonder if Order is still there. Try to go up to round 100 and I'll see you on round 100 to prove to you that this is the best strategy for it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you then. My God! I, I, I started recording because I was like, "Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm failing. There's no way I'm gonna get this. There's no way." And I was like, "I'm not doing this again because this is actually my second attempt." We did it. Okay, I, I will see you on. I'll see you on round 100. Holy frick! That was intense. And here we are on round 99 after that weird accident we just had i will show you what i do for this strategy to be able to survive because this is actually a tiny bit crazy so i throw down lt casimirs to fill up my ring of fire wait until well the casimir is gone then the ring of fire and you know the star of the show the m79 is used 
I realize how much I really dislike Firebase Z by going for this round 100. It's the fact that there are so many little things on this map that I just really dislike. Number one, the mimics. Too many mimics. They really just ruin the strategy and without the mimics, I think this would be probably one of the most chilled back and just just relaxing round 100s. But the mimics just make everything so much more annoying, so much more stressful, and I just really don't like them. That's why I definitely, maybe don't use the M79 on this strategy, but I'm just trying to, you know, use it to prove to you that, it, like, look at this mimic, it doesn't want to die, for God's sake, that it's possible, you know, like, it's possible to use the M79. It is, I have been using it mostly, only around these rounds I started to use the LT Casimir to, like, just get through the rounds fast because honestly, uh, just these mimics, man, they are so annoying. I thought the manglers were gonna be a problem, but they're not. As you can see, it's kind of it takes it takes a while to end the rounds. It, it's also the strategy that that is really the problem. The best one has to be like fire, well, what am I? On? Forsaken and Demachina for high rounding. They're just so just so easy for just high round, and they're so satisfying to use or go for. But uh, I don't know if this is going. Nope, this isn't the end of the round. We're still going. See, I I've been at this for quite some time, but hopefully we're nearly at 100. Hey, we did it. That's another 100 off of the list. Yeah, I don't know. M79, it's possible. I, as I said, I've been using the M79 mainly, but uh, I'm going to go up one more round just to have that 100 on my leaderboard. And now we're going to move on to some Muir der Toten and see if maybe that map is better with the M79. Obviously probably is because you know the m79 is huge pog but uh yeah mauer der toten time okay and so here we are on round 55 on mauer der toten uh i use this strategy which is the power room honestly it's actually kind of takes way more longer time than with the actual crbrs but i'll just show you one round over here and one more round in a different location to show you that it's basically possible to use this strategy with the m79 as i'm about to go down <laughs> anyway let's hopefully not go down anyway i got it all under control still zero downs let's go but uh, basically yeah that's all i've been doing just sitting inside of this place obviously when you have an insta kill just go for the insta kill if you don't use a semtex or other stuff like that to get your ring of fire I just use the M79. Oh, is that a double insicle? Let's go, poggers. Round 55 is the start of Super Sprinters, and it's the max health cap. So maybe the rounds will go faster from here, as with the previous maps. I will be seeing you on round 100 after we are done with Mauer. Uh, you know, just to show off that it is possible to get up to round 100. But uh, this strategy, I think, is definitely better using the actual CRBRS for high rounding. That was pretty fast. That was way faster than the other ones. I think it was just because it was slower rounds. But now we're going to go over to the Wonderfist location. And I want to show you that that strategy can also be actually improved with the M79. And the strategy that I'm talking about is actually over here, instead of this corner, usually like up in these higher rounds you'd get kind of overwhelmed with any kind of weapon. But since you can just spam the N79, you can just, you know, simply sit up here, wait until like you get your ring of fire, which is proving to be a bit more difficult. The spawns are definitely maybe a slight bit slower up here. And just, you can just sit in here, because now you can withstand the explosions of the M79 with actually PhD. I could pick up that nuke, but I'm just gonna wait. And I have my ring of fire and just, you know, blast away. I don't know if this is the one that I'm going to use for my round 100 from 56, but uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to be using one of them. This is actually not too shabby. It's just they're kind of slower to spawn in in here. What if I pick up the nuke? Will that then run that round? I don't think so. No, that didn't end the round. I think we're getting to the end of the round now, but this is definitely taking way, way longer than the actual power room location so there we go round 57 i'm not gonna be using that strategy so i'm gonna go back get up to round 100 and i'll see you then okay so as you can probably tell some time has passed i took a little break but we are on round 99 unfortunately not a flawless run and i'll be honest this one is probably one of the most toughest ones that i've done not only does that part glitch out when you stick down here but also it gets so overwhelming with all of the disciples and manglers at the same time it's actually crazy and i find myself using a lot and i mean a lot of like explosives not only the m79 but definitely having the m79 in this strategy is pretty useful and definitely like kind of more helpful than the crbrs i find 
Now, I have tried this strategy multiple times with the Wonder Weapon, and I don't know, the M79 being an explosive, stunning zombie sometimes, it's actually really helpful. And just a combination of Semtex, Ring of Fire, M79, uh, LT Casimir's, as you can see, I have a war machine just in case of emergencies. It's a pretty, it's pretty good. Obviously, there's just so many things that you have to put together to make this, you know, a, a very good strat. But uh, we're gonna get up to round 100, and you know, that's another one off of the list. And uh, furthermore, proving that this is probably not probably the best weapon in the game for high rounding. Definitely not like, you know, you don't go into Outbreak with this bad boy. You're just gonna be wasting your time. Oh, we got an insta-kill as well? Let's go. Right, right. Come on. The round should be ending soon enough. We got a ring of fire twice. Insta-kill. Wait, was that another insta-kill? Is... What? No. Why did that only pop up now? Okay, come on. Come on. This has to be ending soon, right? Come on. Come on. Come on. Throw a Semtex in there. Oh, I think we're I think we're at the end. Let's Semtex this. As you can see, the M79 on its own is just not the greatest. Hey, we did it. Another round 100 off of my uh, grind to round 100s. Uh, so, obviously, this counts as a round 99, but who cares? Uh, we got round 100, M79, absolutely huge pog. Gonna go to round 101, X-Fill or whatever, just to get that 100. And yeah, use the M79. Maybe, yeah, no, use it here. Use it here. Yeah, 